Okay. We should be back this time. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Again, um, we are trying with uh, attempt number two. I think technically number three, but we're going to go with number two for now. To do this damn NYC <laughs> boxing hall. Um, if you're live on Twitch, you're probably like, hey, you were here like a half hour ago and everything messed up. Yes. Um, unfortunately, OBS like crashed and then came back and was like a hot mess. But I restarted the system, um, changed a couple of things around in my settings. So cross our fingers, we should be golden. But let's get into it. Let's get into this haul. Um, I'm going to go over what has already been shown and everything like that. And then um, we'll get into the newer stuff later. So um, for folks that didn't know, I went to New York Comic Con. It's my sixth year going, which was fantastic. I had a blast. And I got a couple of pictures to show you on a bit. But the uh, chat did vote to have uh, posters before Funko's first. So I'm going to reshow the posters. Um, the previous video did have the posters in it. But I'm going to reshow it just because we started over. And then we'll show the Funko Pops um, for everyone to see. And everything like that too. So first off, uh, I think I'm going to go back in order. Which I do have to move some stuff around. So pardon me if I'm looking down for a bit. It is not because I don't want to chat with y'all. <laughs> It is because everything is buried because I got to do this in order again, which is kind of annoying, but it works out. There we go. All right. So let's get to it. First off, let me tell everyone to just refresh a bit in case they were waiting. All right. I think everyone's back. Um, let me just say refresh and you're all good. All right. Cool. So that was a hot ass mess. Um, thank you, OBS, for that. But we're good. So we're just going to go with that. So first off. And not buggy quality. This is the first poster um, I got. So the artist had a buy two, get one free uh, for New York Comic Con posters at their booth. And look, it is Final Fantasy VII. Cloud front and center. The rest of the FF7 crew. My girl Tifa at the bottom. Right there is Tifa. You know they have to have the best girl on there. But Tifa's on there. Um, the rest of the crew is on there. They all look so dope. Uh, I immediately had to get this because y'all know we're playing Final Fantasy VII Remake today. Uh, we also finished the original, which is on the YouTubes if um, y'all didn't check it out or haven't had a chance to see it. But it is on the YouTube channel, so feel free to check that out. Uh, but yeah, anytime I do a playthrough of a series, I definitely want to get some merch from it. So I decided to get... Um, what up, Colbert? How's it going, friend? How you doing? What's going on, buddy? So good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Happy Thursday. Welcome in. But yeah, I got this uh, cool Final Fantasy VII poster from Comic-Con, uh, which has been a blast to like use and stuff like that um, and talk about. So also, if you're getting pings in Discord, I apologize. Uh, we had to start stream over like a couple times because the frame rate and OBS dropped. Um, so we're back with like a whole new video. But I'd rather upload a video that is like... Also, Meg, thank you for the shout out to Colbert. Be sure to check out the good homie doing some cool stuff, doing Who's Got NXT. Uh, which has been a blast to watch in a really good series. So be sure to check them out. But yeah, we got this cool Final Fantasy VII poster. Um, that wasn't the only poster I got from the artist, which was a fantastic booth to go to. But y'all all know that there is a certain anime that is in my top three of all time. We actually did an anime night for it in the Discord, which was a ton of fun. And it was so successful that a couple of my friends who never watched this anime started watching it themselves. And I'm talking about Cowboy Bebop. Look at this cool version. I'm trying to get it because of the light. I'm trying to hold it steady. So the light glare. There we go. Look at this cool poster of Cowboy Bebop. Look how nice this is. Like in full detail too. Um, with everything. Oh my God. I thought that was OBS and I freaked out. It was Java. Thank you, Java, for updating. <laughs> I was like, no, do not disconnect on me after the ADF try. Uh, this cool version of Cowboy Bebop I love with Spike and Faye on it and the Swordfish on there. Um, looks really nice. The visuals are super freaking clean and looks so good. Like I was just blown away by how, uh, nice it's supposed to look. And like this actually caught my attention first at the table. Um, so I immediately was going to buy it. And then I saw the final fantasy and I was like, okay, I got to get that. And you might be like, okay, so what poster did you get, uh, for free? If you got these two, um, and the one that I got that was actually really good. And I really have to check it out. Also, one second. One second here before I talk about the good old poster I got. 
Oh, okay, I know it's the problem. Let me uh, close that. Close this. And let me close this. There we go. All right, we're back. I know it was the issue this time. Um, so that's fixed. Cool. So you might be wondering, like, hey, if you got that poster, uh, oops, stop recording. If you got that poster, um, what was also another poster you got? And honestly, I had to get one of my personal favorites. Um, Y'all might know of a certain anime called Kill a Kill. Um, look at it. Look how cool. Is it? Look at Ryoku Matoi and look at the rest of the Kill a Kill crew. I'm going to bring them in a little closer so y'all can see. Look at the details of it. Look at Ryoku and Sasuke and the rest of Nudist Beach and all of that. Absolutely freaking hilarious. I had to get this poster um, as the third one because, like, I thought I was done, and then they were like, oh, I'm like, okay, which one am I going to get for the buy two, get one free deal? Anyone that knows me knows I love Kill a Kill. Um, Ryoku is one of my favorite characters. We have the Ryoku figure of her in the back over there. I had to get this, and, like, this has to stay in the house. <laughs> this one cannot go to the office. But anytime I get some good Kill a Kill art, I, I have to buy it, like, of course. So... Shout out to them. Shout out to the awesome artists that we got that from. Uh, they were super fantastic. Love chatting at their table. I think I have, if I can find it, um, I think I have their business card. But when I did the test run, I think I moved it. I'm going to try to find it in a minute. Um, so when I find it, I'll show off every artist and stuff like that, too. Um, that was the first table I went to. So that was like right at Comic-Con, right at the start. Now. Another person that I really, really love is my boy Miles Morales and love everything about him. Love Spider-Man Miles Morales. Love Miles Morales as a character. Uh, just a big fan of the Spider-Verse films and everything that has to do with Spider-Man in general, especially Miles Morales' arc. With that being said, look at this cool poster. Oops, hold on. The light glare with the... I have to move it a certain like image so like my ring light doesn't hit it. Because y'all can see, like, the stream setup is kind of blocking it a bit. So, I'm going to bring it a little closer and then move it, like, here. So, y'all can see. But look at how awesome this Spider-Verse, like, photo is. It looks so dope. Like, this poster. And it, like, has, like, Miles and his crew and, like, how he looks. And then also his, like, origin of becoming Spider-Man and the free fall and everything from the movie. So, this, honestly, I told the person it really looks like official artwork. Um, that's why I like bought it. Cause I was just blown away by how like awesome it looked. You would think like they worked for Marvel doing this. <laughs> it, it was that fantastic. The fact that they were able to just kind of make this and get this image was uh, like really, really good. So absolutely love that. Um, their name was hero hero Fod. Um, so there's a contact right here up close and personal in case you want to check out the Instagram socials and all that good stuff. They also signed it for me. Um, uh, so there's a signature right on the back here which is pretty dope. So definitely love that. Um, kept it. I'm going to probably keep this in my house um, because this is really nice. And like, honestly, as a huge Miles Morales fan, like this is like perfect. This gave me like Kingdom Hearts vibes too when I saw it with just like all the different frames of his story and everything. Um, so immediately had to get this bad boy. That was the only one I did get from his table. Um, he also had like the Spidey Gwen version too. But I think I'm just buy that separately because I was like, so not like swamp, but I was like, oh God, I got to get everything like to go. And to give you all some context, I did travel via train. So I didn't want to take too much back home because I was going to be like one tired and two like exhausted just from uh, carrying everything. But that was one poster I got. Another one I got is so, y'all yeah, know, I love my boy Sonic the Hedgehog. Love everything about Sonic. Love everything there is to love about Sonic. Anyway, I had to get some Sonic stuff. I can say, I never thought I would get a Sonic cereal poster. <laughs> Look at how freaking cool. Oh my God, my, I'm going to fight my ring light later. I'm going to move it. <laughs> Look how cool this poster looks with the Green Hill Golden Rings. Look how dope this is. I'm going to bring it a little closer so y'all can see some more details. But you got to get the free tails inside. Uh, you got like the uh, chili dog taste and stuff like that. This looks so funny. There were so many of these at their table. Um, so I chatted with the crew. It was a duo. It was a guy and a, uh, it was a guy and a girl. And like they um, talked about how like they got ideas for like pop culture cereal. And 
Sonic the Hedgehog was like one of the characters they had. They also had some Demon Slayer stuff. They had like a ton of other pop culture like references and stuff. Had to get this um, because this honestly looks like spoof art, but like official spoof art. So I was like, need this bad boy. Definitely got to get this frame. Um, looks so freaking good. So definitely got that for crib. Um, and then of course we'll do a reverse order this time. There was this one artist that was doing like these really cool longer prints. And I actually like these because you get to see the detail, but they also look really nice just in general. Um, so y'all know I'm a big fan of sports. I talk about sports all the time in the anime squad. And one of my favorite athletes is the late great rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, AKA the black Mamba, uh, Lakers legend, uh, five championships, all that great stuff. Um, miss him a ton. I always wanted a poster of Kobe. Um, and I have a picture of like him and I have a picture of Jordan in my sports area for my place and also my office. So immediately had to get these guys. Um, but I got, I think they had the Kobe version. I ordered the Jordan version cause I think they sold out when I was there, but the guy was like, Oh, like I'll give you my contact so you can just order it later. Um, it was super sweet, like very, very nice person. So he did this cool image of Kobe Bryant that I absolutely freaking love. Um, so I had to get this for the crib and everything. So immediately got that. Um, and I kind of like it because, like I said before, it's a longer poster. It was a pain to carry, though. <laughs> so, like, I was in full cosplay, like, moving and everything. And it was, like, so tough to carry. But I'm glad I got it. <laughs> glad it worked out. Um, and then, of course, I was very Spider-Man uh, focused at this Comic-Con. Because I got the whole crew. Let me bring it this way so you can kind of see. I think you can get everyone in one frame. There we go. If I do that, if I just cover my face for a little bit so y'all can't see me. But we got Gwen, Peter, and Miles. The Spidey Trio, my favorite Spidey Trio. Uh, I had to get them. And it's this cool, like, wall art with, like, their different, like, colors and vibes on it. So I immediately had to get this because it looks so damn cool. Um, and I really wanted it uh, for the space. And I was looking around. So I'm like, yeah, definitely got to get that. Um... Loved the artwork on this, and, like, the artist, like, really did a good job of kind of captivating all the personality, so immediately had to buy that. And I believe that's it for the posters. Like I said, I didn't get, like, a lot of posters. There were a couple more. Um, So, for folks that have never been to Comic-Con, to give you some context, um, there is a main floor that pretty much has, like, everything. It's kind of like the open floor you see. It's, like, the first floor when you get in. Technically the second, because the first floor is the waiting room if you're down there. But if you go to the main hall, like, if you get there a little later, boom, you're right into the show. Um, so that's kind of, like, where a lot of vendors are, some artists are. But most of the artists is in a place called Artist Alley, um, which is kind of like the collection of different artists doing their artwork, selling merch, showcasing their art, and really just showing their talent. Um... For Artist Alley, I spent time there, but I didn't spend as much time as I usually do. Um, just because I was so, like, swamped and moving around everywhere. Also, I had, like, photo shoots, like, everywhere that I had to do. It was, like, a ton of them. So, um, I had to get ready for all of that and everything, too. Um, but I was able to get some stuff. Additionally, I did get some Funkos. So, one of the Funkos I got, actually, I'll show off, too. These were not at Comic-Con, but I'm going to include them in a haul just because I got them around Comic-Con season. Um, and the first one is my boy Levi. Battle Levi, also dubbed as Bloody Levi from, like, a lot of the Funko Pop community. Um, he looks so cool. I'll, like, zoom in a little closer so y'all can see how he looks. A bit of the glamour shot. There you go. Um, but, yeah, Battle Levi, I got him. They were actually selling him at Comic-Con. Um, I almost bought a second one. But I, I had to remind myself, like, hey, I have one at home. <laughs> it's one of those things where, like, when you're a kid, your parents are like, we have this at home already. You're like, no, we don't. We, we actually I had this at home. But I wanted a second one. Um, Should have impulse bought it, but was super like, eh, I got enough Funkos as it is. Because I do. Um, So didn't get him. But the table that I went to, the vendors, I got their business cards because they were very sweet. I'm going to order a ton from them in the future. Uh, Super nice. Staff was really good. They had a busy booth, like people coming in and out, and they were just so friendly with everyone and got a lot of good business there. So kudos to them. Um, and I also got the manga version of Spider-Man with the cool, like, gloves and stuff like that. Uh, I like this version of Spider-Man. He looks so cool. It's kind of like an alternative version of him, but it's in, like, manga style, which I, like, absolutely love. Anytime I can see 
um, some of my favorite heroes and like different styles. Like I know they had the anime version of like Wolverine and Iron Man and stuff like that. I kind of hope those get Funkos in the future. I doubt it, but it would be cool to see. Um, but I do have a mini Spidey collection. Had to have this guy. Shout out to Wario 64 as always for the link on that. So got them. Um, but that's not all of the Funko Pops. <laughs> there is one more. So funny enough, this was the Funko I was going to show before OBS crashed on me like a million times. But Miss Erica, Elisa Blood, I'm about to say Erica, Miss Elisa Bloodstone, she is really cool. I learned a lot about her origin in like Marvel Comics. I started like looking up more of her stuff because I, I knew of her, but I like to be honest and say I, I wasn't well versed in like who she was. Like, but I've seen her before in like other video games and like crossovers and comic books. Um, but she actually is really cool. So I got this Funko of her. Um, the same time around, I got the Nightcrawler, who is, I'm going to get him in a minute, but he's over there. Um, so I bought both of them because like Walgreens, they were both Walgreens exclusives. I was like, why the heck not? So got her like, I think a day or two before Comic-Con, she arrived in the mail. So technically not a con pickup, but a part of, a part of the con pickup family. Um, and then of course I got Levi, but collect the chalice, had my girl Mikasa, Look how dope she looks in that battle armor. The MVP, or one of the MVPs, but definitely like the finals MVP of Attack on Titan. She's so freaking cool. One of my favorite like anime characters. She's just like a badass um, and does like a really good job of like making sure everyone has their stuff together. Especially freaking Aaron, that guy. But <laughs> I could go on for hours about that, but I won't. I'll save that for a different video. But I did get Mikasa and her battle armor. Um, I do recommend if you're a fan of Attack on Titan, get the Funko Pops now. Because a lot of them go up in price. The original uh, Attack on Titan Funko Pops, uh, a lot. Just put it like that, a lot. So if you have a, if you see a deal or you're just outside in the wild, get it. Like don't even second guess it. Um, especially for a lot of the older anime, but especially this one, get it. Because it's, it's not like a common like even some of the Naruto ones um, that I'm still hunted for have gone up in price, but they've been restocked, so the price kind of goes down for it. Let's talk about some Funko Pops I did get at Comic Con. And let's talk about another anime that is, in my opinion, a top three to five GOAT contender for anime. Probably top five for me, but definitely top five, top three for other people. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood. Uh, Edward, I got him doing an alchemy pose, which is really cool. Um, this Funko Pop is super dope. I think I'm going to take this one out the box, actually. So. If you're a uh, in the box collector, you're probably upset with me right now. I apologize, but I wanted to take this one out the box so you have to see how dope it is. Look at how cool this looks. Look at him doing alchemy. It's so dope. I love the lightning like on his like uh, hair and stuff like that too. Look how dope he looks. Look at that word. Awesome. I love this, and I like that specifically to say Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Because I am Team Brotherhood over the original. <laughs> so I was just super hyped to, like, have this. But, yeah, he looks super dope um, and everything. And, like, I love the design. So um, that was the first Funko Pop I got because I thought I was done. And then Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was, like, not so fast. Do you want one of the best characters? Not only in Full Metal Alchemist, but anime history? Reza Hawkeye? And I was like, yeah, I definitely do. And she's holding a freaking dog. Listen, one of my favorite characters in the entire series is such a badass. I hope they get the version of her with the longer hair as like a, uh, I don't know, like whether it's like a chase or a different version, but she looks so cool. Um, I had to get Riza because like she just is goals it just as a person. <laughs> so definitely picked her up for the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood line. And then you think I'm done. You're like, all right. Full Metal Alchemist got a lot of love, right? You finish. That, that's it, right? Of course not, because um, <clears throat> I found a very, very, very awesome character that I absolutely love. There she is. There she is. Queen Armstrong, her damn self. I love this character. She's so dope. Um, one of my favorites just like is hilarious. Her, her, uh, I think her brother or cousin, I keep forgetting which one. They're great. Um, they're super like the Armstrong family is just one of my favorites. They don't, they get like shine, but if they ever had a spinoff with them, I'll watch it. Cause it's just really good. Uh, but she was just such a badass in the anime. Um, 
So I had to I had to pick her up because I think it was like um buy two, your third one is half off. And I was like, shit, I'll go for it. The guy was super nice and told me, like, oh, it's at a discounted price. Um I think they were going for like fourteen and then he said this one came out to like six, so Hi son! How's it going? It's so good to see you. Give a shout out to the buddy Sunshine Arts. Be sure to check out Sun everyone. Amazing streamer, amazing friendo. She was doing some commissions and playing some art. Uh, sorry, playing some art. Doing some great artwork, but also was playing some Resident Evil, too. Uh, so be sure to check her out. We love Sun. She does a lot of great commissions and artwork. So if you're ever looking for an artist to check out, I highly recommend the amazing Sunshine Arts. It's so good to see you. Also, hi, Jack. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I love playing art. <laughs> oh, my God. Best game by Nintendo. Honestly, you, you're right. <laughs> Yes, so go check out Sun and her amazing artwork. Um, yeah, today's going by well. We're showing what I got from Comic Con. We showed a couple of posters. Uh, we're showing some Funkos. So I got the Full Model Alchemist Brotherhood uh, lineup. So we did get Miss Armstrong. We got uh, the amazing Reza Hawkeye. Boom, boom. Looks so dope with the doggo. Check out. So cute. Absolutely love this pop. Um, and then we got my boy Edward doing alchemy so i'll bring him up close for the uh glamour shot move my hands out the way all the full out full metal alchemist full metal alchemist <laughs> i like that is always stuck in my head like i've never seen full metal alchemist but i heard it's really good it's fantastic i know um b in her discord is doing the anime watch night of it um i've seen it like so many times and i i love it i highly recommend brotherhood the original is cool too but team brotherhood definitely go for it um, and then of course, other things I got, um, I think Crunchyroll had the really cute, like, lanyard. I'm going to bring it a little close with the little, like, logo, the Fox Girl. Um, they get, they give these out, like, all the time. So this was, like, the lanyard for Comic-Con. Um, so I got two of these because what I usually do, if you've never been to Comic-Con, um, you want to get an extra lanyard, especially if you want to go back. Um, because passes look like this. This was my pass for Sunday when I went. My boy Deku on there. They finally made an anime. It's been Walking Dead for 70 years. I think there was one year. It was like an indie art, which was cool. Because it was something different from Walking Dead. But I have like 50 Sunday passes. And they were all Walking Dead. <laughs> which, no shade to Walking Dead. But I'm like, change it up to something. Anime, sports. Hell, I'll, I'll take a Furby. But come on. But this is my Sunday pass when I went. Um, And then I'm going to show off uh one cool picture. And then I'm going to show off my cosplay. Because Crunchyroll is amazing and took over. Wait, really? Oh. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, they did have a booth there. Um, I'll show a couple of pictures in a minute. I'm going to my Instagram. But before I do that, um, I do want to show off a professional photo I got. So, I know we have some wrestling fans in the Anime Squad, myself included. Uh, and there's a special reason why I love this picture. Because I got to meet Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. The former AEW Women's Champion. She was so cool. I'm going to bring it a little closer. My ring light is crashing the party. Let me do this. There we go. And then there we go. Perfect. Took some time to get a little closer. Um, I don't know why my jersey accent came out when I said closer. <laughs> but anyway, I met Britt Baker. She was very, very kind. Like, I'll say this because I'm going to show all the wrestlers I met in a minute when I switch over to my Instagram. Um... She was fantastic, like absolutely fantastic to meet. Um, because you know, it's such a busy day, she's meeting tons of people. Like, it was like a two second, like, high by, but just very nice, like, super cool. Love taking pictures with fans. Uh, she's doing her DMD pose. Fun fact, she is an actual dentist. Um, so yeah, she has her degree in dentistry, which is like amazing. But, um, <laughs> it was just awesome to talk to her a bit about wrestling and life. Uh, we talked about sneakers a little bit too, because we're also big sneaker fans. Uh, you see me with the taxis at the bottom right there. I got to wear them a bit, rock them out. Um, but it was awesome to meet Dr. Britt Baker. Very sweet person. Love chatting with her. Um, if you have never done a photo op at Comic-Con, it is a very quick process. I will say the lines for the other photos were a mess. Oh my gosh. There were so many people on Twitter, like complaining and rightfully so. But when I, I found this out on Saturday because when Saturday hit, I was like, Oh, okay, I see a lot of people upset, like, what's going on? And then it was because of the fact that, like, people were in different lines and they were moving lines. So, thankfully, my line was smooth. It was only, like, I think 20 of us in line. But for, like, Mick Foley and everyone else, it was, like, 60 people. 
Like, I would not want to wait because you were waiting there for a good portion of the con. Uh, I got in. I got there early. Uh, my photo op was at 1120. I got there at, like, 1050 because I'm just an early bird. Found out they put us in the wrong line and then put us in the right one. We met Britt Baker. It was super quick. Oh, yes. My friend was there for Oscar Isaac. It was a horrible time. Yeah, I heard he was packed. Michael J. Fox and um, Christopher Lloyd were packed. Mick Foley, who I met. I met him years ago. Like, I met him, I think, at last year's Comic Con or two years ago. Dude had, like, three lines. I was like, damn. Like, <laughs> it was a lot. But um, it was a very quick process. But, yeah, a lot of people who did Oscar Isaac. There were so many Moon Knights, which was really cool. Um, but, yeah, I got to I got to meet Britt. She was super dope. But she's not the only wrestler I've met um, at Comic-Con. Let me open up. Uh, I don't know if I'll do this on Twitter or Instagram. Let me see how. I could probably do it on Twitter. Let's see. Let me open up my Twitter. Let me just open up to my page so I'm not seeing anything like wild or something like that. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, I can do that because I can do it with OBS and then show. Um, sorry I'm being lurky, looking for my clothes, following stuff. Son, you never have to be sorry at all for being lurky. We love our lurkers. We love people to lurk. I have lurked during friend streams while literally cooking, cleaning. Like, I think I lurked during a stream while, like, I was playing my analog pocket when I lurked. We love our lurkers here. For free, lurk friend. You got to take care of you. I know it's been such a busy day for you, but never be sorry. I'm just happy you're here. Happy you're safe. Happy you're doing well. It's so good to see you as always. No real lines. Just call people up. They had the fight to the front. Oh, shit. Three hours of bull and the printer shut down so the people or the copies were SLL. <gasps> really? That is horrible. Oh, my God. Did your friend get a printed copy, though? Like, were they okay? Because, um... What else happened? Um, I'm actually going to turn this in the... I'm going to turn the video in the New York Comic Con, like, hall slash debrief. <laughs> I'm using work term slash chat. We say debrief a lot of my job. But, yeah, um, I actually told them I wanted my copy emailed, and I paid 10 extra dollars. And they were like, oh, no, we'll just print out a physical copy, and, like, you can just print... You can get a picture. And I was like, so why the hell did I pay 10 extra dollars for? I paid you 10 dollars to email, which is ridiculous, but... I'm not going to fraud over $10, but I was like, damn, you know, I could have bought a poster with that. Uh, he got both, but he would be on a butts about it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get mine's email. I just sent it to myself. I was like, screw it. But I heard a lot of people were upset. Um, but I, I'm, I'm sure like the Oscar Isaac line was like wild. Um, I, I know it, Sebastian Stan, I heard was fantastic. He was awesome, but I heard that line was like a lot. It was, it was a lot of emotion and stuff like that <laughs> from people. Um, I think I got the Twitter up, so let me, I guess, show real quick. Oh, I can start off by showing my cosplay. Um, so I didn't tell a lot of people, but I guess I'll go to event reactions and then I'll go to, um, no, this is my logo. This is the webcam. This is the event. There we go. I want this. Yay. All right. So, um, they don't take anyone's contact info down for the physical copies too, but at least she's able to get a photo. That is true. Yeah, it was it was a mess. So this was me at Comic Con. I don't know if people know who Static Shock is, and some people don't. So I'm literally gonna go. I'm gonna show a picture of Static Shock. Let's do images. And let's do. Let's do this one. This is Static Shock. That was my cosplay. A lot of people um, have not seen Static Shock or didn't know who Static Shock was. Um, like, especially if you're, like, young, younger, because, like, he was around in my generation. Um, but if you're in, like, your 20s, 30s, maybe, like, like high teens. Like, maybe, like, say, like, 19, 20-ish. You probably know who Static Shock is or you probably heard of him. Like, I even asked my kids at work today when I went to see him. I was like, do y'all know who Static Shock is? And they were like, we've heard of him, but we don't know. But... Uh, he actually is one of my favorite superheroes. Um, you know, a very prominent, like, African-American superhero created by the late, great Dwayne McDuffie, um, who was awesome. You know, I want to do this cosplay in honor of Static, but also in honor of him. Um, he basically, um, you know, Dwayne McDuffie made the superhero, and Static was originally a comic. People thought he originated from the cartoon. He actually is a comic book character in DC. Same origin and everything, a little bit different design. Um, but they made a show based on his character, um, because, you know, they really wanted, um, 
black comic book fans that have a character that kind of related to them. So we were around about like the same age when this came out um, and everything. It was a little younger, um, but around like the same age group. And when I did my first cosplay, I wanted it to be something meaningful. I wanted it to be something that like is a character I could relate to and also, you know, I could do easily without having to like do a ton of stuff because, you know, I'm still, still a cosplay baby out here. <laughs> I'm not trying to do too much stuff. But I cosplayed as the, the homie Static Shock. So, boom, there was my cosplay. Um, I basically was so hyped to have this because of the fact that um, there is my jacket right there. So, I found that from, um, I got that from Amazon. And I kid y'all not, I typed in Static Shock jacket and that popped up. And I was like, awesome, because the other jacket was over $100. So, I was like, not doing that. <laughs> but it actually worked out because it worked with the outfit perfectly and it looked super nice. The mask I got from Etsy and the shades I got from, um, I got the shades from Amazon. I'm actually going to see. It looks, yeah, it looks good. You can see it. I was like, make sure the quality was good. Um, so that was like Comic-Con and stuff like that in terms of my cosplay. I did get to also meet um, this awesome cosplayer who uh, did the Martian Manhunter. Uh, the woman version, she was fantastic. It was so cool to meet her. Um, fun fact with this story, we met because um, you, if you've never been to Comic-Con, it is crowded as hell um, because in New York, it's a ton of people. There's not a lot of places to eat, get food at tables. Like if you get a food table, you basically hit the jackpot and you should probably keep that table as long as you can. Like if you get food with friends, basically you need to like have someone get food and like get chairs and like keep it. So I got one and then uh, we both went for it and she was like, let's just share it. So we laughed at that because we w legit at the same time, like got to the table and we got a chance to catch up, which was really nice. So it was nice to meet a, a cool friend there. Um, and then these guys did this awesome cosplay. This guy's Iron Man was really solid. Like he did a super good job of it. And this guy's rating was really good. Um, they were fantastic. Uh, I found them on also shout out to the guy in the back. <laughs> they got in the freeze frame there. It was just really funny. Um, sometimes when you get the freeze frame pictures, cause so many people are walking and stuff, you do get people in the background. Um, and then of course that's me with the static shot cosplay. Uh, so we got a chance to kind of like all take our pictures, like hang out. Um, but they were like super nice, like really just cool people. And they did a good job with their cosplay. Like we talked about like a lot of stuff and they've been cosplaying for a while. So it was just nice to kind of chat with them and everything. Um, so I definitely enjoyed that. And then I'm hanging out with my friends there. And then another thing I saw, so obviously y'all saw the picture with Dr. Britt Baker, but I also saw Deanna Parazio, uh, who was super sweet. Um, she is a wrestler from um, TNA, also known as Impact Wrestling, was known as TNA in the past if you watch wrestling back then. Uh, it was super sweet to meet her. Uh, her photo op was very nice. It was just a quick meet and greet photo, all good. Um, but she was just very sweet to talk to. We had a really good conversation about like just wrestling, life, all the stuff. Um, she was like, just very nice. And then of course I met Dan Housen. Um, if you are a fan of all elite wrestling and you know, Dr. Bert Baker, you also know Dan Housen, who is really funny. Uh, just a really nice guy too. Um, it was a pleasure to chat with him. Uh, he does this thing where he like puts like a curse on wrestlers and stuff like that. And it's just really hilarious. Absolute sweetheart. Like basically, especially when you meet like a lot of people, um, you know, you hope to get good reactions, especially with celebrities. They were all fantastic. Every single one of them. Like, nice people. Um, he was super sweet because, like, he was like, oh, do you have someone to take your photo? And I'm like, oh, no, it's just me. He actually got the staff to take the photo for, for us. Um, just really nice. Like, did that super impromptu. Nice human being. Nice person. Became a huge fan of his. I liked the stuff and didn't really, like, watch a lot of his matches. But he got a fan for life because uh, he was just awesome. Like, really nice person. Um, and I think that was pretty much my Comic-Con experience in terms of pictures and everything. Um, overall, uh, Comic-Con 2022 was a blast. Um, I cannot wait for 2023 already. I, I literally can't wait to go. What I will say is, um, two things, two take, well, I have three takeaways, but I'll get into the big two. One, cosplaying is fun. Um, oh, I got the one like this. Cosplaying is fun. Um, I never cosplayed. A lot of my friends have done it. Um, a lot of my awesome mods have done it. Um, and I was like, I want to, I don't know. I think, I think going forward, I'm a maybe cosplay. 
continuously at like events like this. I had a blast doing it. Um, it was super like chill and I was able to set it up. It was a very simple cosplay. Uh, and I think, I, I think those work better for me because it's something that I could just wear and like add an outfit to it. I already have my idea for 2023. Um, actually I have two ideas. So like, are you, when are you going to an anime convention so you can go out with the cosplay? That is a good question, Megs. Um, I think, I think anime NYC is a possibility in the future. I don't know. We'll see about this year. I think tickets are sold out. Let me go check. <laughs> Cause I, I do have the convention bug. I don't want to send out a tweet to whatever. I want to see the convention. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I think they are sold out. Let's see. Badges. Oh God, they're still open. Oh, Saturday sold out. <laughs> Saturday sold out. Three days. Oh, it's only three days. Oh, shit. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. <laughs> Come Sunday, I'll be there. All right. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll see. I'll see. Because the, the big thing is I want Rona to relax. It's been better now, thankfully. It's still out there, but I want to relax. Get a Spy Family badge. I might. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, uh, I am starting Spy Family tonight. Um. Oh, we, we got a lot to talk about. Um, We got a lot to talk about. Reunite. Oh, y'all are going? I'll think about I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Actually, talk to Nicole on Instagram today, too. A little bit. Because she liked my uh, photos. Um, Yeah, I'm starting Spy Family tonight. Also, I finished Ranking of Kings. And after I do this debrief, we're going to talk about that on stream when I play Final Fantasy. But, um, all that long-winded, cosplaying is fun. I met a really good community from it. Lots of great people. I highly recommend, if you want to cosplay, do it. Um, I wasn't nervous to do it, but all those years I kept saying, oh, I should cosplay, I should cosplay. Man, know what I know now? I would have been cosplayed. I had so many ideas. But I actually think I picked the right time to to do it. Um, like, honestly, I was like, yo, I, I think I picked, like, the best time to do it. So I was like, you know what? Let's let's cosplay. It worked out. I think I'm gonna cosplay next year. And I already have two ideas. And I say two for a reason. I think next Comic Con I'm going two days. I think it's time. Uh, I talked to a lot of my friends about it, who all went on different days. <laughs> and I was just like, we all need to pick. Which Megs, I'm gonna message you about that later. We all need to pick a day or two. <laughs> Everyone's going so I can get my tickets. Uh, it's still early. We got a whole year left. Like, we actually, like, have a year left because Comic Con's also later next year. Um, sometimes it's earlier, sometimes it's later in October. So, uh, they gave us the dates, which is after Indigenous People's Day. So, reminded the folks who want to go take that day off work if you got work. If you got school, go to school. But if you got work, take that day off work. Um, <laughs> take that Monday off. You're going to need a dog. Because uh, my feet were hurting. They were hurting. Like, I walked so damn much. To the event, back home, all of that. But, um, yeah, cosplay is dope. Do it. Had a blast. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm the second thing was I, I'm going to do multiple days next year. Um, I think it's time. I, I think I had a lot of fun. And I think, for me, like, one day at Comic-Con isn't enough. Um, Money-wise, it's enough. But, like, one day experience-wise, I just got to a point where I'm like, nah, I, I want to do, um, I want to do a lot more with it. And just kind of have fun. So, definitely loved it. But overall, Comic-Con, um, New York Comic-Con 2022, huge success. Um, loved it. Had a blast. Met so many dope people. Saw some cool friendos. Need to see more friendos. Um, and I'll be at future events. And, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed the haul. If you're on YouTube, this will end the video. But watch the Final Fantasy stream. Because we're going to be talking more about Comic-Con if you want to know more about it. And stuff like that. But I just want to do this haul video um, to upload to YouTube. So if you're on Twitch, don't adjust your stats. We're going to go right to Final Fantasy. But if you're on YouTube, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging. Um, if you went to Comic-Con 2022 and you bought some cool stuff or you cosplayed or you just went, let me know what your experience was in the comments. And thanks so much. Peace. Okay, so that'll be the YouTube video. Which, thank goodness, worked out. Ugh, why isn't the console working? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on.